Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my favorite fall lipsticks, part one. Um, today I'm going to be talking about nudes and pinks. I um, am a lip, a lip product lover, so I have quite a lot and I just wanted to um, separate it into two different videos because I didn't want it to be too long and I have quite a few products here to talk about. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So the first two products I'm going to talk about are from Wet n Wild and they are their um, matte lipsticks. I don't what are they called? But they're like the best little $2 lipsticks. I have almost all of them. But um, the first one is Bare It All and it's just a nude color. Um, I don't like wearing this on its own. I like to top it with a gloss because I feel like it's too nude. But um, it is a really pretty, you know, nude base for me. And the second one is Wine Room, and it's kind of a mauve pink color. It's darker, but it's kind of pinky, so it kind of gives your um, lips, you know, it's kind of more, it's not as bright, it's more muted, so it's really good for the fall and the winter. Um, the next one I want to talk about is a NYX Butter lipstick, and it's in the color Pops. And it's just a really good Your Lips But Better um, color. It's like a pinky brown color, uh, or a pinky color, um, you know, a couple shades darker than my natural lip color. The next one I want to talk about is this e.l.f. lipstick in the color Cheeky. And it's another, like, pinky bronze, but it's more on the bronze. This is the top one. And it's pretty metallic, it's pretty frosted, which I generally don't like frosted lip colors, but uh, I do really like this one. It's just kind of a really natural color. Um, I can even throw it on without any other makeup on and it doesn't look um, like it's too much. The next color is a new one. It's the Maybelline Matte Collection in the color Touch of Spice and it's another like brown pinky color. Um, and it's what I have on my lips today with another product. I really like these. I just bought um, a few of them. And I, they're really creamy on the lips. And they last um, quite a while for just, you know, a regular lipstick. The next one is this NYX uh, lip cream. It's a newer product. It's in the Nude Collection. And it's caught in the color Disrobed. And it, again, is just a pinky kind of nude color. It's enough pink to not cancel my lip color out, but it's nude, you know, it's considered, a, you know, a nude color. It looks nude on my lips. The next color I want to talk about is a NYX Matte Lipstick, which these have a very similar formula to the Maybelline ones. They're really creamy, they don't really dry your lips out, and this is the color Natural, and it's a, just like a your lips but better color. Um, and it's really pretty just for kind of a natural, you know, look. The next nude I want to talk about is from the Buffs, from the Maybelline, and it is in Stormy Sahara, and it's just a darker nude shade, and um, it is this right here, and it's just really pretty. Really good, like, everyday nude, nude color. And then I just, I have this last lip stick or lip stain is made by MAC Studios. And it's just a nudie, pinky color. And it's in the color Lucky Lady. And it's got a gloss, a stain on one end and a gloss. It's really similar to the e.l.f. ones. And I don't know if they're, like, from the same company or not. But um, it's it's nice. It doesn't really last. It's not really a stain, but it is a good color, a good nudie color. And then I just want to talk, touch on a few glosses. The first one is a Bare Minerals Moxie Gloss in the color Temptress. And it's um really pretty, like just your lips but better. It's pretty on its own or it's pretty over some of those natural lipsticks. It's like a mauve color with gold shimmer in it. And then the next one is a NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color Beige, which uh, so many people have this color. It's just a really pretty natural pink color. Definitely not beige. And that would be that color. 
And then last but not least, I have a NYX Butter Gloss in the famous Tiramisu. And it's just another pinky type nudie color. It's a really good topper um, gloss or even on its own. So, uh, I know I went through those kind of quickly, but uh, I honestly attempted to film this video about four times already and something always happened. So, but they're really great. Um, I really like nudes and pinks I got into a lot of bright lip colors for the summer so um, when the warmer weather rolls around um, I'll break some of my favorites out and to show you but uh, I'm having fun playing with um, different eye looks and I really think that the nudes and the pinks go good with darker eye looks which I never really was into until recently um, I've been playing so um, but I, I, I have to admit that the dark color lips are one of my favorites too for this time of year. So, um, I will share that video with you soon. So, thank you all for watching and uh, please remember to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or what your favorite nude or pink lip products are. Um, if you've noticed, most of mine are drugstore. So, if you have a favorite high end, I'd love to hear it from you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!